this video is all about my pond hopping bag. Guys, you guys know or watch my videos, you know that I fish from the shore, from a boat, in the creeks. I've got tackle in my basement. I've got tackle in my garage. I've got tackle in my truck. I've got tackle everywhere. Tackle organization is so important. And so how do I keep it straight when I am going to all these different places, doing all these different types of fishing? How do I stay somewhat organized? Well, the key for me is having a good bag. I picked this up at Dick's Sporting Goods, I think last year for maybe like $30, but I wanted something small, something light, and something I can throw over one shoulder, just like this. Boom, I'm on my way. I want to go through what's in my bag, what I carry with me on a daily basis, and what are some important things to consider when you're putting together your bag for pond hopping. Again, I go pond hopping, I go fishing in the creeks. I want something light, something I can easily take on and off, just like I'm doing here. And I can easily, well, all right, ignore how that was not graceful. This bag is one sling. I can change the directions or change which way that sling goes. And there's a bunch of compartments that I can store all different types of baits, my gear, my tools, my camera equipment. I think this is one of the most important things in your entire arsenal is organizing your tackle. So let's go through this. So I've got one little compartment normally for glasses. You can see. But what I normally keep in here, because it's a little bit protected, are batteries. I keep my batteries for my cameras in there. Um, I usually throw a bunch of them in there, and that way I'm good for the entire day. Now, like most bags, you got a big compartment. And in this compartment, I keep my hard baits. It changes throughout the year, depending on what I'm fishing. So I'm constantly swapping out the tackle. This is what I have right here. This is an old spider wire box. I think it's from an, actually an old tackle bag, way, way back when. But You'll see, here's what I have in here. All right, as you can see, I got some jigs. A good old dim jigs. I've got some underspins and some blade baits. So I got some little blade baits. Got some little underspins there. Chatter baits. So I love chatter baits. Some original chatter baits. I've got some, some hybrid underspin slash chatter bait type baits. I've got some JDM ones. I've got ones that I've homemade like that one there. You haven't even seen that yet. Wait till you see those. Let's see I've got some lipless in here. So I've got some little red eye shads. I've got square bill. Um, I got that little, let's see here's that little lucky strike of a car that I had so much luck on recently from Mystery Tackle Box. And then jerk baits. So I've got Vision 110s. I've got some Let's see some more Vision 110s. I got some JDM ones. I got some Ima Flitz. That is my hard baits. So I carry this full of hard baits, and sometimes in the summer I actually have two of these in there. Frogs, all these different types of things in here, and I will continue to swap things in and out of here. Inside that same main compartment, I keep, and I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but I keep a selfie stick. That's right, this is nothing fancy, but when I catch that personal best, the last thing I want to be doing is trying to take a photo like this. I want to be able to get a good photo, hopefully when I catch that 10 pounder. Everyone should have something like this, just to make it a little bit easier for when they, uh, when they want to take that picture. And again, if you're involved in social media, you need pictures like that. So that's the main compartment. Now, the next compartment, I keep soft plastics and terminal tackle. All right, for terminal tackle, it's super easy. I got this little box right here. So we got some little blue tungsten beads. We've got some rattles for jigs. We've got some tungsten weights. These are all from Wu Tungsten. We've got some little bobber stops. We've got a couple little inline spinners. These are my favorite ones right here. We've got hooks. So three and four rot EWG hooks. We've got some uh, flipping hooks in here. It's all kind of a mess, but eventually I can find what I need. We got some little tube weights. We've got tons of little mushroom head jigs. I fish these all the time in the creeks. Those are great for little Ned rigs. And then we've got some shaky heads, so we don't hook ourselves. We've got all different types of shaky head. So, and that covers about 90% of the terminal tackle I think I will ever need. And then I keep a bag of soft plastics. Sometimes I'll have two bags. 
Ziploc bags like this are the best, in my opinion, for storing soft plastics. I have a ton of soft plastics and constantly swapping in and out what baits I'm gonna need, where I'm going. So I'll have a pond hopping bag, a creek fishing bag, a drop shot bag, a finesse bag, a, I don't think of what else I have, swim baits. I mean, I have bags for all that. And throughout the years I get new tackle and I swap out old ones. I'm replacing what's in these bags because this is what I'm bringing with me on the boat to the lakes, into the creeks, swapping out bags. And I usually leave those bags in my truck so I can quickly swap them around depending on what style of fishing I want to do that day. Okay, soft plastics. Again, this changes throughout the year, but you can see right now I got a little structure bug. I'm about out. I need to replace some of those for jig fishing. Some chartreuse and white flukes. Some little uh, Yamamoto Zakos. Those are for my chatterbait trailers. We got more hooks. So again, I got some three uh, offset round bed and EWGs. See, this is what I caught my personal best last year on. These are these little Buddha baits. Get some, some white flukes. We got some little yum dingers. Got a few more hooks here. This is probably from Mystery Tackle Box. We got more bower stops. And we got some little Wu Tungsten weights which you guys should go check these out definitely check these out great deals that's it the last compartment is where i keep all the the tools so headlamp this is for when i'm night fishing i do go out night fishing quite a bit during the summer especially to beat that heat and so you need one of these so i can see what i'm doing Two pairs of pliers. I hate being anywhere without pliers. I rarely use them, but when you need them, I feel like I never had them. So I always keep two. Usually I actually have a usually I actually have a pair of split ring pliers. I don't have one on me right now because mine just broke, but I've got two pairs of pliers on me. This one's kind of rusty. This one won't. <laughs> Scissors and little clippers. Depending on the style of bait, one of these will get the job done. Bug spray. I don't need it now when it's like 30 degrees out, but I will need this in the summer. Keep those ticks, mosquitoes, all that stuff off you. I spray myself down with this stuff. So if you're fishing a lot of ponds, going through forests like me, you need this. Scale. This is not a reliable scale by any means, but it gets the job done. This is what I use to weigh my personal best. 5.6 last year. Hey, the batteries actually work. How about that? <laughs> These scissors, they are dull as heck. They're like made for children. But these have been in my tackle box now for about 25 years. There is a sentimental value with these and so I always keep them with me. In fact, I thought I lost them once and it was really kind of upsetting. So these I kind of think are like good luck. Um, I just always have them with me. I carry around a screwdriver. You never know when you're real. A screw is going to come loose. That will ruin your day. Absolutely. Little highlighter pen so I can color some of those white baits, the soft plastics, add a little bit of chartreuse on there. Tape measure. Gotta have one of those. Wacky rig tool. So everyone knows what these are. That's it. I know, nothing crazy. But you know what? Having that little tackle on me means it's light, it's easy to throw on, throw on my truck, throw on my boat, wherever I'm going. And I'm not hauling like 40 pounds of tackle around with me, laying me down, hurting my back. I can easily just sling this on, sling it off, and I'm good to go. And I'm constantly throughout the year, again, churning the tackle and just replacing what's getting old, what's getting emptied. As a mystery tackle box sends me some new stuff, I put that in there. If you're sitting around, go grab your bag, clean it out, go find the right bag that's for you. And again, this was super cheap and something that I've gone through about 20 of them in my, in my lifetime. But this is the one that's lasted me probably the longest of everything because it's so easy to carry. So. Guys, if you like videos like this, where I'm giving you little tips, techniques, going through my stuff, make sure you leave a like below. That little helps me a ton. Let me know what I'm doing is right. If you have any questions or you have any ideas or thoughts, leave a comment below. I will answer every one. And make sure if you haven't done it before, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it so much, guys. That's gonna wrap this video up. This is Winnie City Bassin, signing out. <laughs>